but I wasn't expecting to find a tooth on a roof. Hey y'all, welcome to TNT Homesteading. This is Terry. Uh, so it's Labor Day weekend and um, going to work a little bit on the shed. We're going to try to empty the sheds out so we can go through everything that's in there because they're just both sides are just a complete and utter mess. Uh, we picked up a load of gravel that we're going to put down in the basin there just to give us a better flooring than just the dirt floor. And I'd love to get around to doing the getting the metal off the ceiling and starting that putting the new stuff on since we have it. Now how much space do we, how much time do we have? How much is it going to get done? I don't know. That's what we would love to get. So, um, we'll see what happens. Um, so, we started unloading some of this stuff. Still working here. Oop, I don't know why I did that. And we're making some progress. But some of this stuff's here before we even got here. So, some of this stuff we put here. It's just time to rearrange some stuff. One side's done. Yeah, those rings in the middle, there's one in each. I guess they had things, they're big and deep and concreted in. Um, I guess they had stuff in here that they had chained to it. So, uh, but this one's ready to go. I'm gonna start moving gravel into this one while I think my bride works on cleaning out the other side. This side's done. Well, emptying the gravel anyway. I still have to do the roof. And something I didn't notice until today is how much light's coming through that little roof section. So no wonder everything in here got wet. Anyway, uh, this side's done. We have, well, some of this is trash. Some of this is keep and reorganize. We've made some progress on this side of getting it emptied. Um, a little bit more to do, but it's time for a water break. It's nine o'clock and I just finished graveling the floor in here. And I moved that to that side. Uh, pretty happy with it. It's dark, I'm hot. It's supposed to be hot tomorrow, but almost 10 degrees cooler than today, so that's good. But we got a lot to do and there's a chance of rain about 4, 4.30, 5 o'clock tomorrow. So, I uh, want to make sure we get it all done. And on this side, I got the roof off. Uh, the gravel's down, everything's out. We have started, I'm not sure you can see. Yeah, a couple of brackets here. I'm gonna put a shelf here and a shelf here and there's enough room for uh, boxes to go underneath. So that's what we've got on this side. Um, so time for to cool down, time for a shower and then bed and we'll start up again tomorrow morning. All right, well, it's day two of this project. What, uh, well, let me just do a quick recap because I'm not sure how well what I did last night at the end of the day uh, turned out. So you can see the place is a mess. Complete and utter mess. But over here, we got going what we, we were wanting to get. But over here, we've got what we want. So, so the room is mostly emptied out. There's still a few things on the shelf that before we get to this side, um, We'll need to take care of. I did get the gravel in. I got uh, that box moved over so I can get uh, over here really well. This morning I took down my first piece of tin on this side of the roof. Uh, so that's actually what I'm working on. And then I realized I hadn't uh, shown y'all where we're sort of starting for the day. Now over here, ooh, that sun. I still had the ladder over here because I'm working using it. But over here, 
got the roof off last night started putting in some shelves so we can store some stuff the boxes will still go under the on the ground underneath the shelves we're putting in or at least some of them and so that's what's going on uh so before the rain gets here later this afternoon um i want the roof off and the new roof put back on we got a little bit of gravel left in the truck that i'd like to put around the gate uh, where we lock and unlock the gate uh, usually gets a puddle of water there so i want to uh, get i want to get that situated so it doesn't uh you're not standing in a puddle of water every time you go in and out so and i still got a little bit of gravel left not a whole lot it took pretty much a whole bobcat scoop to to uh do that which i sort of figured it would anyway uh that's it for right now uh, at the moment uh, crowbar and hammer and pulling out those nails is on tap and trying to not hurt myself again i got myself last night with a little piece of metal so so while on the roof taking down the tin i find these teeth well tooth i have no idea how it got up there someone had to have tossed it I guess some critter could have took it up there, a squirrel perhaps. But I wasn't expecting to find a tooth on a roof. All right, the roof is off. Time for a water. And then uh, get back to work. That only took between an hour and an hour and a half. It's just now nine o'clock. So, so far, so good. The rain's getting here early. So far, it's just been sprinkles, but uh, we're done. So, all done in here. I did get this done before even the, really the sprinkle started. I gotta finish getting that cable out. The type of metal this is didn't have the space for that to go between the ceiling. So I cut a hole in the wall. I'm actually considering putting a vent window right there. Uh, looks good in here at the moment. So, this side's, whew, sorry, I just finished. And on this side, the same. It's all done. Still gotta do the shelves, but that's gonna have to wait a couple minutes. We need to get stuff that can't get wet back inside here. My problem is my right arm from that drill cramping up like you wouldn't believe I can't even extend it straight at this very second so fun times and then back here this is done I did have to add a support beam but it looks pretty good it's not perfect I probably shouldn't have uh, continued using the rafter that the guy had before us but going to be pretty good and the best part is not going to leak so i'm going to uh, take a drink of water and get back to work see how bad this how much rain's really coming our way at the moment well i don't know about y'all but i'm exhausted let me show you what i got done all right so almost all the stuff is taken care of that stuff i think we got someone back at our old place that can use that we got extension we have like all the extension cords if there's an extension cord shortage we have them uh i need to put that away i still haven't installed that one yet that's trash tables still need to go somewhere I'm not sure where but pretty much everything else is done uh in here
everything is put in here um, some extra the coolers we're not really using anymore ice chests all the tools that were there and just hanging and falling my wife made a little tool uh, holder that will go in the back of the door which is brilliant in here uh, we put a couple of shelves in here as well got some boxes and just storage stuff um, you know all the chairs and tents and all that kind of stuff's in there we got a little bit more wood we'll stack right there some here some on the lean-to side but not today today we're exhausted uh, so I am getting ready to take a shower go find some food and the one last thing here is the lean-to is complete Uh, everything's gonna stay dry so pretty happy what we were after I'm exhausted though we still have a little bit more gravel to uh, shovel not in here and here was great I'm gonna put down at the mailbox but uh, I'm not doing it today I've got other time I can do that so anyway uh, we're glad that's done. I just wish it was cooler. We're in the burr months. There's supposed to be burr, right? Not this early in September. Um, I hope you all had a great Labor Day and didn't do as much labor as I did. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Bye.